Mexico head to Qatar with hope, if not expectation. In attack, they have a trio that has the potential to create something special, yet there are serious reservations over whether the squad as a whole has the capability to make a mark at this tournament. They have a knack of getting through the groups, but stinging defeats, particularly to the USA, have hurt them in recent times. Boss Gerardo Tata Martino began his reign with an 11-game unbeaten streak and needs a fresh streak of hot form right now. He has a big reputation in the game and both the club and international scene. Among the teams he's managed are Newell's Old Boys, Barcelona and Atlanta United, as well as Argentina and now Mexico. Traditionally, he's a coach that likes to press high and attack fast. He also allows a sense of creativity within his ranks and will encourage single-minded decision-making. Predicting Mexico's style of play is not easy, given that everything around the team has been pretty inconsistent in recent times, but we should expect a 4-3-3 formation. They do keep the ball, but when it comes to actually springing an attack, it is likely to be through direct, over-the-top passes that allow key forward players to flourish. Most of the time, the key will be to find Herving Lozano, as the wide areas are likely to be important in Mexico, having luck when they look for goals. One main trait of Mexico is that they generally have freedom to try shots or passes that many other nations would not be allowed to try. Maybe that's what gives this team an edge at this tournament. Alexis Vega is one to watch, a forward player often used on the wing and there is an expectation he will play on the opposite flank to Lozano. There is no doubt this is a player with good goal scoring instinct. He is creative as well as fast and we should expect him to use one twos to exploit defensive weaknesses and to have no fear when the chance comes for a first time shot. His chance at the World Cup mainly comes at the expense of Jesus Corona, one of the players who will miss the World Cup due to injury. Vega is a great replacement option and perhaps a wild card that can help them surprise the teams in their group. Most people will expect Raul Jimenez to feature as the main man when it comes to goals here, but Herving Lozano is more likely to be the guy to shine. You will often hear him referred to by his nickname of Chucky, and the tactics of this team will mean that even though he is considered as a wide forward, he will get plenty of big opportunities and he could be the star of this tournament for Mexico. Lozano 27 plays for Napoli and has experience and nows that is going to be important in Qatar to this group of players. His shooting is fierce and accurate and he has a big reputation in the game. Mexico finished second in CONCACAF qualifying but lost games against both the US and Canada and that is a warning sign for them ahead of the World Cup. The truth is, even though they actually qualified for this tournament in pretty straightforward fashion, it was pretty unremarkable and those defeats cost them the chance to win the group. They scored 17 goals from 14 matches, which was fewer than both their main rivals in the group. Mexico's main aim has to be to make it out of the group stage first and foremost. Their first match against Poland will give us a very early indication as to whether that is likely, because if they lose, they could be out by the time they play Saudi Arabia in their last game. Their other opponent is Argentina, and the prospect of beating them seems low as we prepare for Qatar. El Tri have made the last 16 at the past seven World Cup tournaments, so it has become somewhat of an expectation from a nation of football-obsessed followers. Their big concern here is that they have to keep Robert Lewandowski and Lionel Messi at bay if they're to get through a game. If they do get through the group and indeed go all the way, you can get Mexico at 200 to one to win the tournament. They have an experienced core that can help make up for the unreliable set of players around them in this tournament.